Hey guys, it's Easy Sinks here. Today I'll be showing you how to recover lost Vegas Pro projects. Uh, this works for any version of Vegas. It might be slightly different, but it should be similar. So first thing you want to do is you want to press Windows key and R. So what you want to type is percentage app data percentage. And then once you've done that, you press enter. Windows should open. And what you want to do is go up here, click on app data, go to local. And to find the Vegas Pro folder quicker, just press V on your keyboard, or you can just scroll down. But by pressing V, it automatically just goes all the way down to where uh, folders with the letter V start. So you want to go under the folder that says Vegas Pro, not the one that says Vegas because it has uh, error reports. Go into the Vegas Pro folder. You're going to see a folder named 17.0 or whatever version of Vegas you are currently using. You want to click on that and what you want to do here you're uh, going to see a bunch of files you know a bunch of random stuff you could either scroll all the way down until you find a veg file or so a quick way to find the project that you're looking for would be to go to the search bar at the top right and type restored and I guess if you don't know how to do this, you're just going to have a bunch of projects, so you're going to have to open them all one by one. Or you can look at the date and click on the most recent one. And if you don't find your project, what you can do is you can type autosave. And that should bring up all the veg.back files. So these are just a bunch of backup files and they're different versions of the restored veg files. They could either be older versions, so maybe that could help or different versions. But if you haven't done this before, you're just going to have to sort through all the files. And uh, again, you can look at the one that is most recent and that might help you. So you can check the date here. I'm just going to open a veg file and one that ends with a BAK or back. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop and I'm going to look for a restored file to show you that it works and what you have to do with these files. So I'll show you in a sec, but let me open this. Now I think for some of these, I probably deleted the project files, so I'm going to get an error. It really depends, but let's open the veg file and see if it works. So I'm opening it here. Might take a while to load just to show you that it works gonna load um, it does work it's just I have the missing files and I've already deleted this because uh, this project that I worked on it takes a crap load of space so I had to delete it with the files that are just that end with BAK or back what you want to do is you want to rename them you want to click at the end of the file and get rid of the BAK or dot BAK and then just press enter and you're gonna get this warning um, just click yes and it should turn into a veg file automatically. Before I forget, if you're not able to rename the veg file for some reason, uh, what you can do is you can open a window of file explorer, it doesn't matter, just open it up. Then what you want to do, if you don't have this uh, window here, this whole section here is showing up, you can click on this little arrow. It's going to be facing down if it doesn't show up, but if it is, it's going to be facing up and you're going to see this. Then what you want to do is you want to click on view. You want to make sure this is ticked. File name extensions. Make sure that's ticked. Then you want to go to options and you want to click on view. You want to scroll down, you want to go down here where it says uh, hidden files and folders. And then under that, you're going to see a box that might be ticked that says hide extensions for known file types. You want to make sure that is unticked. And then once you've done that, click apply and then click OK. Then you're good to go and you can close the file explorer window. And you should be able to see the extension of the... Uh, veg file or the auto save veg file and you should be able to rename it and change it to a veg file Which should be pretty easy and here. I'm just going to show you that it can open So wow, oh, it's loading quicker All right, so yeah, this does work. It's just that I don't have the project files So that's why I'm getting a bunch of errors But if I were to ignore miss all missing files and leave them offline you, you can see that it loads so it does work. Same thing with the other one. 
So this is how you uh, recover lost projects. If you want to avoid this issue in the uh, future, I would recommend always when starting a project to save it in a folder or create a project folder and then save your project inside of that folder. And always uh, create the habit of just pressing Control S in Vegas to save your projects. Just do that really often, you know, as many times as you can so you don't lose any progress. Um, now, sometimes that can backfire if you want to undo something but I mean, it's better to deal with that than just losing a lot of progress or your whole project. This is it for the video, guys. I hope this helped. And if you're struggling with anything or need any help, just comment down below and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.